Okay, welcome to On Fire Training. Uh, we're going to get right into it. We're going to give you another key tonight to effective marketing. And we've been talking about using splash pages. And this is part two. Now we're on, uh, we're archiving these on my YouTube channel, F Lefebvre. So you can see replays on there. And a spl splash page is simply an initial website used to capture the user's attention for a short time. It's just a splash. You know, here's the bullet points. Um, I like to use a little video. You can create effects or provide information as an introduction to the main site. So I'm talking to a guy. I'm getting ready to place a national ad, and it's going to be like a, almost a picture of my website. And when I go to the link, I'm going to be right there. Hi, thanks for, <laughs> you know, and fill out the form and so forth. Just something short, like a minute, not even a minute. So I use a splash page 99% of the time in my general advertising. They're especially good on traffic exchanges, which we talked about last week, because you only have 10 or 20 seconds to capture their attention. They don't want to read a whole website or they don't want to take time to fill out a form. So you put a little splash page up there to qualify and see if they're interested. And then if they are, they can bookmark it or, or go to it. And um, we also talked about revenue sharing sites that are popping up. These are great places to advertise because they're, everybody on there is buyers. And they're all trying to make money. So those are great places to buy some shares and advertise. And we talked about banners last time. I put banners on all of them. And this was the banner code. And, you know, that's how a banner is laid out. There's two elements, your, your website and the, the picture. The banner is actually a picture. But we're taking this a step for, further. And any image, it's for any image. All right, so that's where space comes in. Yeah, and I'll show you what, what I mean. But now this is, on some pages, it's an image. <coughs> That's a, just a picture of my video. Excuse me. That they It looks like a video. When they click on it, it goes to another page where the video is. Or it can be the video right here. And it can start playing right away, like mine does. Or it can be something they click on. But some websites don't like ones that, you know, videos that start playing. So some of them have a picture on them. And then this is like just a huge banner. It's a picture with the link and click here. Well, the whole is actually clickable. It's just like a big banner, but you put it right on a page, and that's your splash page. And then when they click on it, it goes to your capture page or your website. So last week, part one, we talked about Easy Splash Maker. And you can go there. They give you f three free ones. And you can create them right there. And tonight we're going to talk about a uh, full-fledged website. And what we use is all for webs. And there's the link there. And it's totally free. And we're free. Okay, I'll put the link in the chat room. And if you missed the other one, there's the link to Easy Hits for You. Where there you can actually build a splash page and then put it into into motion right away. You can buy credits really cheap. Okay, so we're going to talk about Offer Web's website. This is totally free, and, it, and what I liked about it, like about it, and I know the owner, Peter. Finally, free web pages that don't look like they're free, and the reason is. You get a blank slate. I mean, they do have, uh, there's no templates, but they do have a WYSIWYG editor. And we talked about that last week. What you see is what you get. So if you can write an email, you can create a web page. But it also has uh, a blank one, which a lot of them don't. So you just go here and sign up free, create an account, build your page, and then publish it. 
tell your friends. Now this is a WYSIWYG editor. <laughs> um, so you can just, if, like I said, if you can write an email, you can put pictures on the page. Um, up in the top left corner, it says source. That's where we put that code. And you can, you can do anything on here. You can make a full-blown web page. You can make a splash page. You can make a cap, your own capture pages. And it's unlimited. You can make as many as you want. And the second, the square down below, the source is, a, is an image. So you can actually upload your images to their server and display them on your page. And then the other square I have highlighted is a YouTube video where you can plug in a YouTube video on your page. And you can make these easily with this editor. And then I'm going to give you a couple source codes. And then these are the web pages I have. And it also uh, has statistics. So my home page is my main lead capture page, you know, um, on fire to retire. <coughs> and, and, and since I put it on here, I'm, I'm moving off of a, a, a another server. But you can see I have 6,886 views. A T box, since I put it on here. 225 views and you can see the counts. I have a Frank page halfway down. It has 2330 hits. Uh, Frank RT9, that's Frank, um, I forget what RT stands for. Oh, rebrandable traffic. Capture page 9, 8,789 hits. Okay. So you also get tracking with it. And here's the page I just built. This is not a splash page nor a capture page, but it's a it's a web page. And uh, I'll just use it for an advertisement. Go to onfireliving.com. We're doing like a live radio, like a visual radio show is the best I can explain it. And it's a Christian video. So it's Christian fellowship, coffee, donuts, music, inspiration. So back to this code. This is the code I'm going to give you. And while while you're here, let me try something. Okay. I'm going to push out these templates now. What I mean by push out, I created um, a generic template. You should see a, a screen will pop up or it will show at the bottom of your computer you can either open it or you can save it download it but there's a generic one and here's one for infinity profit systems so you can either open them or save them I recommend saving them and then free resources I hope this works out this is the first time I've used this so you should have three things that you download later or open later. Let me know how that works. <laughs> but that's going to be on. This will be there so you can copy. And, and then a little as a little bonus, um, body be, BG color, background color equals gray. You can put in white, red, whatever um, to make the background pop a little bit. Um, and then if you go to w3schools.com, uh, HTML is interesting. It's, it's code, but it, it's just interesting what you can do. And it, it would be good to learn it if you're interested. Okay, let's go. That means uh, time to screen share. So let's try that. Okay, so you should see my screen here on all for webs. Uh, 
Um, you can lower that chat room. There, there should be a little arrow where you can make this, you know, lower the chat room, make it bigger, but you should be able to see okay. Anyway, you go there, sign up, it's free, and then you build your page. And uh, I have instructions in that download I sent, sent you. But we're going to add a page, and we're going to call it... Um, Oh my goodness, test something, test. Let's just give it today's date. Um, what is it? <laughs> one, oh, six, one, six. And save it. Okay, so now you have a page number. or a page. It should be at the bottom here. Okay, so we're going to go there. And I recommend creating some test pages, you know, to to play with and get it so it looks right before you, you know, put the real one out there. So, like I said, you can use the editor and, you know, add a picture up here. I have some on my, here's a good one. <laughs> and then you can highlight it and center it on your page. And then you can make it clickable by clicking on it. Little link right here. And put wherever you want them to go. Okay. And, you, and at the bottom you save it and it's done. Give it a category. Online or home and garden, whatever it is. Save it and you're done. It's that easy. Okay, but what I'm doing, I'm giving, I'm using this source code, and where is uh, template generic code? Okay, here's the code. You'll get this, and all you do is highlight it. <clears throat> well, before you do that, you want to change the links. You want this top one is your target. So that's the website that you want them to go to. And the bottom one is the image. You can either upload it on that server or if you have it on your computer, you got to host it. So image, i.imgsafe.org is a place where you can host images for free. So you put your, and this one you can use. I gave you two that I made. Let's see what they look like, but you can use that. But you just take this HTML code and paste it in the source. If there's anything in there, you get rid of it. You paste it in there and save it. And then it gives you the link. And it'll be all for webs. Mine is QCFLefebvre. That's your username. And then the name of your page, HTM. And then you can go there and view it. So that was that one image. Okay, I got, looks like I got kicked out of uh, screen sharing. So let me come back in the room. Clone air is me. I cloned myself. Okay, we're going back to screen sharing. <clears throat> Hopefully. Okay, so we made the page, and now we're viewing it. And if you like what it's, you see, it's done. So when you click here, it's wherever you send them. And there's there's the capture page that I like. So you have that. Okay. And you can change it up with your picture or whatever. And I use the gray background because it's, it's a little bit subtle, but it's better probably than just a, a, a white one. Now, I do want to say with these editors, <clears throat> they will add things in the background that, that you don't see. So what I recommend doing is paste your codes. Do it over in, not in Word, but in like uh, textpad.com or notepad that should be on your machine. And do everything in a text like this. Okay. 
because Word has some stuff in the background that you, you don't see. But every time you make changes to it, go back to, to your notepad and make the changes here and then put your changes. See, I have some pretty involved ones. Um, well, here's the webinar page that you went to. So it's got codes and, and banners and videos and counters and <laughs> stuff like that. You know, you can really build these things. So you want to do it in Notepad. <clears throat> See, I put some instructions on here. And I sent this out to you so you have it. Join this free in an account, you know, you just step by step. And then take this code, and you have this in that thing I gave you. And this is for Infinity members, so I'm just copying it. Let's go back to our offer webs in our little test page here. Go to the source. <clears throat> and paste that in. Hit save. Go there. Oh, I got kicked out again. Okay, <clears throat> we're back over here. So what you do, you uh, you click source, go it in there. You know, make sure you put your your links, your username. This one has, this is for Infinity members, and it has referred by Frank Lefebvre. You want to put your name there, uh, contact me, you know, your contact information, email, whatever, phone number, and then save it. And then here's the link of it. So that little piece of code created this. Change, Hi, this is Frank Lefebvre. Video. Are we out again? I apologize. Try this again, screen sharing. Kicked out of the room or kicked out of the screen sharing? I'm having a problem with the screen sharing. Okay, so that second resource I gave you is a is a splash page if you're in Infinity Profit System. That's one of the things I'm offering to my team in the video. Uh, I redid the video. Under Von Fire. Okay, I redid the video to make it more generic, but to still give it some clout, you know. And then a place where you can put your contact information in. So all the all the pages that I have that you go to are all these all for webs free pages, is what I'm using because I want something, you know, hosting and cPanel is all better, but this is something you can do. And the beauty of this is you can you can make as many pages on here as you want. And you can see how many pages I have here. And then I have another, it's not free, but it's similar. Um, I have 52 capture page. It's for just capture pages. And I have 52 capture pages over there. And again, with duplication and multiplication, Different things appeal to different people. You have nine capture pages. Put them all out there. You know, create something different. Use your imagination and create little splash pages. You know, we went through, and you can go on on uh, um, view, and it shows the top ten, and it gives you this. And some of the ones that are pulling the most are, are simple. You know, that one was just words. <laughs> it's what you say, though, and how you present it. So be creative, just saturate everything with your stuff, you know, that's unique. 
So I think that's all that I have. Um, but I bought a domain name at GoDaddy for cheap. And then I made a page called um, Reeks. And that's where they're going to go when, when they go to my ad in the uh, magazine. Okay, I'm coming from sharing. Okay, we're going to stop recording now. Thank you for coming. And catch us on our YouTube channel. The resources you saw in this video are below this video. Thank you for coming.